Hi there, sign of Gemini. This is Kim here to do your reading for you all for the next 48 hours. Lighten some sage. Used to just do these at the beginning of their readings, but now I do it in between everyone. And I think I really am getting better um, readings that way. All right. So let's begin. Thank you so much for um, liking, sharing, subscribing. All the support. I appreciate you all very much. And uh, if you're interested in a private reading, check out the description box below. So without further ado, calling in your spirit guides, higher self, higher power, and your angels, of course. Don't leave out the angels. Aw. <laughs> um, all right. So that's sweet, Gemini. Aw. Maybe you're amazed by something loving. Maybe something really loving amazed you. Or maybe life itself is amazing you. It does me. Okay. Love and persuasion. Somebody might be trying to persuade you. Let's start with love. Love. Before you can truly love another, you need to open your heart and allow yourself to receive love first. If you open your heart to love, it will flow into your soul. And, and another important thing is that your heart, your actual heart that you, you know, feel from, um, you know, it has to be loved. So you really have to start with self-love, I think. And um, then you have self-compassion. And then from there, you can love somebody else. And then from there, you can have compassion. Compassion is a very high form of love. Let's see. Persuasion. It's all about how you see this situation. If you're looking for negatives, you will find them because there are many but try concentrating on the positives because there's plenty of them too. And amazement. Look, you've worked hard to get everything just the way it is right now. So trust and enjoy this moment and know that everything is how it's supposed to be. Yep. Nice message. I like those. I like them. I like those little cards. They're called uh, Aboriginal dreaming totems by the way they are um they're from a store in etsy called uh serendipity tarot i've gotten a few decks from them now like three decks <clears throat> i love the handmade decks that people do i really do they've got so many on etsy i wish they had an affiliate program <laughs> all right so this is uh the shaman's dream oracle and we see we're doing oracle first and then i'm gonna do your celtic cross your general celtic cross so gemini what's up with the twins what's up with gemini hmm. oh nice nice i'm gonna pull that out for you because i think that's what you got too it's underlying okay so that's the underlying influence the underlying influence for you is the fortune's wheel the wheel of fortune luck and right timing luck and right timing it looks like a big pentacle too doesn't it nice whale song resonating so resonating feeling like uh if you hear this other person or you get some communication out there, there might be some people that you really resonate with. There might be some, for example, tarot readers that you just really resonate well with. And, and I'm thinking that there might be some change here because when it says it's resonating, I feel like it's tuning. It's tuning the dial and it's getting on the frequency that you are at. And it's bringing those situations, it's bringing your thoughts, your thoughts manifest. It's bringing them to you. And, and these people will be different. The people might be different. It depends on how advanced they are or you are in, you know, the personal spiritual things. All right, so I'm going to look that up too, by the way. Uh, 64, Woodwives, Adaptability. Okay, Gemini, I could see Gemini being very adaptable, very sociable, likable. 53, Stranger and Curiosity. See, I told you someone new was coming in. Someone new. And, you know, it might just be like your new best friend came into town and 
I mean, it's it's whatever it is, it's significant. This person's a significant person in your life that will play a big role. So don't dismiss people that you meet um, maybe one time or something. Treat everyone like they're uh, your bridge to something else because they might be. All right, so Fortune's Wheel 23. A turn of fortune for the better. Luck and right timing. It says the fortune's wheel is a sign that luck has found the right timing in your life. You have the magic touch and everything turns to gold. <laughs> then listen to this line. There is nothing that you can do wrong. Your only need, you only need to hold what you desire as your intentions become true. Do not waste this power though on trifling things. Dream big, for surely these opportunities do pass. Seize the day. Carpe diem. Carpe diem. Seize the day. Okay, whale song is remembering, harmonizing, and resonating. It says there, there are moments in life in which you have a sense of deja vu, that you visited this place. Yeah, I, have, I get that all the time. All the time. Um, and it's weird. It's stupid stuff. It's like, I remember the silliest details of a scene. Like, for example, I was watching TV the other day and I saw this like construction show, but the thing about it was that there was a host who was wearing this cream, um, cream dress with like a bright yellow line and that mixed with the construction mixed with where I was sitting just dinged in my head that I have seen this play out before. I don't know if I'm changing a timeline. We might be all quantum leaping all the time. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but um, yeah, look into quantum leaping. That stuff's interesting. The Silva method or something. I, I really liked it. I did it and I thought it was beneficial. All right, woodwives. Adaptability, strong roots and growth. Life is going to offer you something extraordinary now. And in order to learn and receive the blessings, you must remember that being grounded gives you more freedom, not less. So you have everything you need to make something happen. You hit, look, see, you have an uncanny ability to adapt to changing circumstances and find a way to grow and expand. Perhaps you're being given an opportunity to take a chance on something new and you're not sure how far you can go without losing your footing. So have no fear when you remember that your roots, your integrity, your authentic self, when you remember those things, then you can stretch yourself beyond the invisible line. You'll be glad that you did. Number 53, stranger. Okay, this means the other, moving past differences, curiosity and acceptance. This really might be about not judging others and being curious about somebody who does have differences from you. Um, a pantheist religious person versus, um, a, you know, Greek Orthodox or whatever, Christian. Um, there, there's differences that we can respect and learn something from each of them. Some of them even use the same books, just different well, a lot of them do. Just the different words. <clears throat> it says there's a veil of separation between you and the stranger. It, I feel like this is a circumstance. It moves through the world and it's, it's very dark and it elicits fear, rejection, or uncertainty. But the unknown actually defines its presence. So you're asked to get some courage up because something extraordinary is being offered to you now if you remain curious and teachable. So if you remain adaptable and, and teachable. That's the main that's the main lesson here. All right. Let's get some epiphany cards too. These are the ones I said um, came from the serendipity tarot from Etsy. Okay, sacred signs and symbols mixed with the epitome, or not the epitome. Why do I always want to say that? The um, epith epiphany, <laughs> epiphany, I can't even talk tonight. All right, let's see. Oh, wow, okay, that's a few. 
epiphany. Stepping out of my comfort zone. Stepping out of my comfort zone. Yeah, you're, you're exploring differences and adapt, adapting to them. Accepting people for who they are and, and, and beliefs too. That's part of it. Part of the package. That's being your authentic self because that's how your soul would be. Passion and desire still alive. Oh, there's still a spark inside you that makes you want to have some passion and desire in your life. Nothing bad with that. No ordinary love. This is definitely a strange, not, okay, maybe strange. It's a, it feels like a love story that's um, just marked by people having differences. Um, but that's the magical part about it, though says no distance will keep us apart. Race car, reckless, impulsive, immature, or wild. I see passion and fast forward motion. The tendency to be reckless, so watch out for that. Yeah, one more. The false mask. Maybe dealing with a Queen of Wands character, Leo Aries Sagittarius, that kind of wears a different mask for their persona, public persona versus at home or whatever. Okay, so let's begin for Gemini. What do we have for Gemini Tarot? Let's get the issue. What's the issue for Gemini? King of Wands, okay. Maybe the King of Wands is wearing a mask because it is truly in the reverse. So, I, the way that I see this card to me, it always reminds me, well, one, of a Leo, but it could be Aries or Sagittarius. It reminds me of somebody who um, really put their all into something, tried to make something work, but it just didn't. It didn't build the way it was either supposed to or the way that they planned. It didn't go as planned. Maybe that's the person wearing the false mask. Maybe they're not telling people that something did not go as planned. Maybe they're embarrassed or something like that. What's the challenge? What's the challenge? And this can be about building something at work too, guys. We have nine of pentacles Ooh, on the bottom. Oh my goodness. Wow, you're coming out with some, some really, um, I love the tower card because I feel like everything gets shook up and put in a better spot. Um, the tower is inevitable. It may have given, the universe may have given you signs that this was coming. And sometimes we can avoid the tower moments um, by listening to our intuition. But if you don't, then yes, the universe will step in. If it's your desire, then it's going to make something move for your desire. You see what I'm saying? So what's the heart of the matter? What's the heart of the matter for Gemini? Okay. Maybe you're alone right now because we have the hermit. It looked like the challenge was not maybe not being near each other or being in separation or um, like looking deep inside yourself. You are trying, maybe you're uh, reassessing why something didn't work out. What were the factors in it? Is there anything that's repeating? It could be Virgo too. Look, a brand new chapter on the bottom. Brand new chapter. There's completion here that comes with this tower. Okay, the past energy for Gemini. Oh, <laughs> crap. All right, well, I'm just going to go down the row with these. So, uh, five of ones in the reverse for the past. Coming out of conflict, maybe preparing for something, maybe preparing for some kind of like battle and um, something just, something didn't work. Somebody wasn't prepared or something like that. Now, it can also mean arguing has stopped. The arguing has stopped. Present situation, we have the four of ones, the devil, the star, the queen of cups, and the three of wands. Okay. The star in the middle, upside down, 
to me, major arcanas, when they're upside down like that, it can represent somebody who's absent for the moment, like somebody who's just not around right now. That could be Aquarius. Um, star in reverse, and it's sandwiched. So something didn't work out as planned. Something you hoped and desired did not work out as planned. There's this tower moment, and, and there's this builder here, entrepreneur builder, that just didn't didn't meet the mark. It might have been due to the um, either a Capricorn, which is neither you know good nor bad, or it can be uh, the devil energy, which is bringing in some shadowy things that keep you distracted and focused on the shadowy stuff so that you're not manifesting your desires when you're attached to these things. You, you're not giving enough energy to it, enough room for it. Um, but you know what? It's, uh, there's something here about you maybe defeating this. This might be twin flame energy too with this um, four of wands. So, yeah, you're really facing some heavy stuff. You, you're dealing with this shadow aspect right now. That's probably involved with this tower. You're stewing over something that did not happen, did not build like you thought. You're um, either finding somebody to listen to, maybe a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or yeah, or or it might be something about reaching out for some kind of healing, maybe alternative healing. Queen of Cups is viewing your situation with um, and listening to it with a balancing of the emotions. And being very in touch, but mainly listening here. Um, Three of Wands says, look, you are anticipating something good. At least you're still in anticipation. Look, you should be because you have the fortune's wheel here. So you really should be expecting something pretty good. All right, Tarot, that was a lot. So let's get, um, let's get the near future for you. Whoa immediately okay it's not really up nor exactly down there is a wish granted oh wow i think i saw this in another reading in another reading um what i got in the other reading was leo's i think yeah it it was a wish granted that caused a butterfly effect so in order to get your wish granted which it looks like that's what's turning for your luck for the near future so your wish comes true it's granted it had to precede a tower moment. So something had to change in order for this to happen. And I think you know that it did in order for that to happen. I think you're like well aware of that. Like knowing the consequences, understanding what they are beforehand. All right. How are you feeling, Gemini? How are you feeling? How's Gemini feeling? Oh, good. Okay, this is like you rebuilding. After this moment, this is you rebuilding, getting your power back. Look, maybe becoming independent with the Nine of Pentacles. I'm excited for you because this is a lot of personal growth and development. This is, um, with this, this is success. Maybe not with the partnership. Maybe something like that didn't work out. Um, and, and maybe you never got to stand up for yourself or never got to really defend um, your side. But don't worry, there is a new journey here. And it starts with your wish and your nine of pentacles. Financial windfall coming in. Maybe a win. Uh, maybe an inheritance. Something that it, it comes and I think it makes you stable for a while. Like I think it's long-term sustainability. I think that's what it's representing. So... What is your external environment? What are the things in your environment that are contributing to whatever this is? I feel like the devil would come out again if, if it could. And so we're going to use the tiny tarot later. Look at that. Ten of Pentacles. Have the courage to, um, I will try to persuade you to keep going. Um, even though you feel like you want to give up because you've been through a lot and you can't take much more stay in the race because you're winning this ten of pentacles you're winning your right to a long last part of your life or whatever chapters you're at for a very substantial uh span of time to be wealthy materially um 
and spiritually. All right, what's your hopes and fears? Ooh, immediately. Uh, Seven of Pentacles, you are putting in this time and investment into yourself. So when you see the Seven of Pentacles cross it, it's almost like the challenge is to not give up because sometimes it takes a lot of work in the beginning and we don't see any results until, you know, we get further along. And so this is the card that it can sometimes mean contemplating, having to think or make up a choice, make a decision, and sometimes contemplating if all this was even worth it. I think it was. I think it was. All right. What is the outcome? What is the outcome for Gemini? Ooh. Page of Pentacles. Definitely getting a new beginning. Something financial. Or if this is to you a relationship reading, then it would be something secure. Good news about finances. Look at that. Good news. Literally. Good news. Maybe not about partnerships, but it is about finances. So getting out of your head, you need to get out of your head because you're in your head and you've got, look, you've got a wonderful closing end of the chapter here for your outcome, an end, a transformation of your finances, maybe a child earth sign. You still are stuck in your head. Perhaps it's because of seeing... Um, waiting on results or maybe you feel kind of stuck due to a responsibility here with something but you're still putting an end to this you're having your rebirth you're having your rebirth because you were down too much somebody really really hurt you bad or a situation really took a lot out of you so much that you didn't feel like you could get up you are working on your ten of cups and i feel like the ten of pentacles look the queen of swords like peaked out right here I think that that means that if you, if you will just stay focused, this will turn over for you. If you stay focused, targeted, finding the truth, spotting the truth, knowing right from wrong, the queen of swords. All right, let's get the small tarot, the tiny tarot, and see what it wants to clarify, or if it does at all. Like the hermit again strong Virgo here. <laughs> really? Oh, was all this self-sacrifice worth it? Because I'm so giving up on waiting. I'm so tired of waiting. That's what that card is representing to me. Virgo. Just wanting to come to a place in life where you're seeing your hard work pay off. And you will because of the fortune's will here. I really believe that. Um, closure of being alone, maybe. Maybe this new opportunity. Big adventure. Putting yourself back out there. Look at that. Ace of Pentacles. It is definitely about... You're, that's what the shakeup is, guys. This isn't even a bad tower. Look, it's the Ace of Pentacles. It is something that's going to change things. Look, we, because listen, let's face it. When you get uh, better off financially, you might have people coming around because, you know, all of a sudden you look really nice to them. But um, this opportunity is to be focused on. And yes, some things might have to be given up on the way because they just won't work out. Not sure if that's all of you or if this is some of you. And most of this is about an opportunity, closing of a different one, and this message of stability coming in. You have Queen of Cups on the Hermit. Love and compassion. Needing somebody to talk to you really bad, though. The Hermit is lonely. The Hermit is lonely and needs somebody to talk to. Gaining your power back. It's in the reverse right now, the strength and courage, because you need to build that up. You need to build that up. You need to dig deep into your reservoirs. And um, yeah, see, even without good news, even with no, no good news coming, it says step out of your comfort zone. So you're going to end up putting stuff, putting work like the seven of pentacles in and you will get back a return for your work. It This just hasn't come in quite yet. 
waiting for that new passionate beginning. Let's do a little bit more and see if there's anything else. Six of Wands, it's your victory. Stay focused, okay? Don't lose focus. There's a new opportunity. You don't need to lose focus, though. Um, be very focused. Point in the direction you're wanting to go. Now is the time to visualize your dreams. Visualize your manifestation. There's just Six of Wands. Like, everybody's going to be happy and praising you. King of Pentacles on the bottom. Having your money stuff in order. Let's see. Let's do um, some angel cards or angel number messages. This also is Etsy. And I'm going to wrap up your reading. It was a good reading. But Gemini. We have 17. The quality of work you can produce when you're going at it alone. Which kind of made sense with the Nine of Pentacles. So it says it's almost unbelievable the way that every step of the way you have this focus, this drive. Just keep remembering that you are independent. Three, I'm charismatic, and that is about uh, creating, two, at the catalyst, three. Expression comes naturally to you. You are a skilled communicator. It says you're able to get people on board with you. So a smooth talker, too. And lucky, number 777, this is about you being in flow. Um, the purpose of flow or whatever is so that you can start manifesting what you desire. And you get to a point where you're so positive, you're not letting anything really negative linger. Um, you know, they can come and go, thoughts like that come and go no matter what. But it's when you think about it and let it um, get bigger that it has effect on your manifestation. So it says, I am in the flow, 777. You're creating on a spiritual level here, and it's really good. It's really, really good. It's about finding your true purpose. I feel like it's about creating something that involves your true purpose. 555, I definitely think is you, because I thought I saw change with this, and it's a major shift is about to come into your life experience, and it's gonna change your look at five 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 um is going to change your direction so be open and stay positive i'm optimistic all right so what else do we have let's do um let's do a guardian angel card and then i'll wrap up the reading oh. angel of grounding it did say something about grounding being very important. Woodwives, yes. In order to be adaptable and kind of flexible, uh, make sure you're well grounded. It gives you more freedom. And then Angel of Love might be having something new coming into your life. I'm telling you. All right. Or you might love your purpose, your passion. That might come through too. Sending you much light and love, guys. Thank you for joining me, Gemini. See me next time.